Halithosis, which is the medical terminology for bad breath or mouth odor, is something that a lot of people at one point in their lives are going to experience. In today's video, I am going to be discussing halitosis, the possible causes, how to prevent it, and possible remedies. If you're interested in that, stick to the end. Hi, my name is Imole Aibusari. I am a Nigerian and I'm a registered nurse. On this channel, I talk about nursing, healthcare, and sometimes I film some vlogs about my lifestyle generally as a registered nurse. If you're interested in content like that, do click on the subscribe button to join the YouTube family and also on the bell icon so you don't miss out when I drop another amazing video. So let's talk about halitosis. Halitosis refers to an unpleasant odor coming from a person's mouth and it could be temporary or chronic. So there could be situations probably when you just woke up from sleep, you open your mouth to talk and you notice that you're having a bad breath, which is very common. And there are people, regardless of how many times they brush their teeth or how many times they rinse their mouth with water, they still experience bad breath from time to time every day. This is a chronic form of halitosis. Some studies have shown that 25 to 50% of people will experience halitosis at least one point in their lives. And halitosis has been shown to be more common in adults compared to children and in specific populations like smokers or people with poor oral hygiene tend to have halitosis more than other people. So that is the basic epidemiology of our topic today. So what exactly are the causes of bad breath? Now, there are two categories of things that can actually cause bad breath. It could be because of oral causes and it could also be because of non-oral causes. Oral causes meaning that they originate directly from the mouth and non-oral causes, which means they are not directly related to the mouth. For oral causes, you have things like poor oral hygiene, which could be as a result of food debris and plague buildup in the teeth. They could also be as a result of gum diseases such as gingivitis and periodontitis. You could also have bad breath because of a dry mouth, which is probably as a result of dehydration or some certain medications where the level of saliva in the mouth becomes drastically reduced. Other causes could be coated tongue, which is when there is a bacteria build up on a person's tongue and they begin to release very, very unpleasant odors. You could also have causes like cavities and infected teeth. So in a situation where someone has teeth that are already infected, there are holes in their teeth, there's a very high chance that this person would begin to, you know, release some unpleasant odors from their mouth. Now, moving to the non-oral causes of halitosis, you have things like sinus infections, tonsils infections, throat infections, acid reflux, popularly known as gastroesophageal reflux disease. There could be diabetes because in some situations like ketoacidosis, people begin to have some fruity smell from their mouth. And this is a very common form of bad breath among diabetic patients. You also have things like kidney or liver diseases, which gives a fishy or ammonia-like odor from the mouth. So when the person is coming down with uh, kidney failure, there could be issues like liver already failing, the person may begin to also have bad breath. Aside from that, you also have certain foods that can cause someone to have bad breath, like onions, garlic, alcohol, coffee. And in situations like this, the type of breath that the person or the part, type of odor that comes out from the person's mouth is usually similar to the odor or to the aroma of that particular food. As basic as the odor coming out from somebody's mouth may sound, it has a lot of implications on a person's life. We could have social implications or emotional implications at the workplace, among their friends, going out, speaking to people may be a very difficult thing and it has a psychological impact on anyone that has bad breath. So it's important to note when someone has bad breath and start looking for remedies. So what exactly are the possible remedies for bad breath? There's a disclaimer here, I am a registered nurse and I do not prescribe medications. All what I am going to be talking about as remedies for bad breath are basically advice. It is still best to visit a medical doctor or a dentist to have your mouth checked if there are specific things that should be done in your case. However, here are some common things that may act as remedies for bad breath. 
first thing is basic oral hygiene like brushing your teeth twice daily with a fluoride toothpaste flossing daily to remove food debris between the teeth cleaning your trunk using a scraper or a toothbrush can help with um, preventing bad breath other things like hydration and diet can also improve your um, general oral hygiene or your general oral health because drinking of plenty of water to avoid um, dry mouth eating fibrous foods that cleanse the mouth such as apples and carrots and reducing your intake of coffee alcohol or any food generally that tends to leave a bad odor in the mouth or brushing your teeth after you've had any of these things can help to reduce mouth odor in situations where a bad breath is related to a medical condition it is best to see a doctor or a dentist for proper oral assessments because visiting the dentist helps you to check for gum diseases holes in the teeth cavities or infections they would be able to prescribe um appropriate antibacterial mouthwash it could be chlorhexidine it could be hydrogen peroxide depending on what is needed and they could also help to treat the underlying conditions causing the bad breath like sinus infections the acid reflux or placing you on medications for diabetes which you know they are the direct causes of the bad breath and once you treat them you you know by extension are getting rid of the bad mouth odor now let me talk about some myths and misconceptions about bad breath the myths and the truth the first myth is that bad breath always comes from the stomach but the fact is that it usually comes from the mouth there is another myth that chewing gums and using mints cause bad breath but the fact is that they only mask it temporarily they do not solve it especially in situations where the bad breath is related to a medical condition so then thirdly if you have there's a myth that if you have bad breath you will always know but the fact is that a lot of people do not actually know that they have bad breath so they are not aware so it's only people around them that will know so if you're around somebody and you realize that the person constantly has an unpleasant odor for, um, coming from their mouth you could be nice enough to pull them to the side do not do it publicly do not shout at them call them to the side start up a conversation and try to make them aware in the nicest way possible so that they know that they need to start finding remedies or they need to see a doctor if you want to see more of my videos click on this playlist here and i'll see you in the next one bye